Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a custom theme on NeoVim on a Chromebook. But first, before we get into that, if you like videos where I show you how to install software and how to set up uh, different pieces of software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I have my terminal open here, and if I go into NeoVim by typing NVim, You'll see I have this default theme here, and I could change it if I go something like Colo, Desert, something like that, and it changes to the Desert theme and so on and so forth. Um, but let's say I wanted to install a custom theme. Well, I can do that pretty easy. First off, I'm going to open up a browser here, and I'm going to search for Vim Plug so I can install plugins and this allows me to install plugins in both Vim and NeoVim. Okay, so I have this June Gun Vim plug. I'm gonna go click on that, and I'm gonna go scroll on down here, past Vim to where it says Unix Linux under NeoVim. I'm gonna copy this code here. I'm gonna go here and paste this into my browser and hit enter. Okay, so that's gonna install Vim plug, very easy. Okay, so now I'm going to cd into my .config file, and from there I'll list out the folders that we have. I don't have a folder called nvim, so I'm going to do mkdir space nvim. That's going to make the directory nvim. I'm going to cd into nvim, and then I'm going to use neovim to create my init.vim. So I'm going to type nvim and then init.vim, hit enter. And from here, now I can start to uh, install plugins. So to do that, I can go to insert mode and type call plug hash begin with parentheses. And then I can write call plug hash end with parentheses. And then here I can just simply start to type plug. I'm gonna do a, a single quote and then another single quote there, okay? And in between those two single quotes, I wanna paste the GitHub repository address of the theme I wanna install. Okay, so I need to find a theme. So I'm gonna open up another tab here, and I'm just gonna search for Vim themes, okay? And I have this website. This isn't a website I created. I don't know who created it, but it's great. It's called vimcolorschemes.com, which has trending Vim color schemes. and I see all these trending themes I can choose from, like Capuchin or Tokyo Night. Let's try Tokyo Night. That seems to be the top trending one. So let's say I want to install that one. So I'm going to click on this, and that says view Tokyo Night.nvim on GitHub. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to just go up here and copy this address here. And now with my cursor in between the two single quotes, I'm going to do Control Shift V to paste in that address. Hit escape to go to normal mode, then colon W to save, and then I'm going to do colon SO with a percent to source this file, and now I'm going to run plug install, and hit enter, and that's going to go ahead and that installed the theme. Sweet. Okay. So let me quit out of this panel, and if I go down here, um, Let's check that I have the theme installed. So I can do colo and then hit tab and I can start going through the themes I have and I see I have Tokyo Night, okay? If I want that to persist, what I can do is just type colo and then Tokyo Night, okay? And so now when Vim starts up again, it's gonna start up with the Tokyo Night theme. I can then write and quit and if I go back to my home directory, open up NeoVim, I've got that nice Tokyo Night theme loaded up right from default. So that's all there is to it to install a custom theme in NeoVim on a Chromebook. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like as it would help out the video a lot. Thank you. 